and welcome to Crystal Seekers. Going to start doing a little series on different types of crystals and what their uses are and their properties. And today we're going to start off with rose quartz, as you can see in front. We have raw bits, we have polished bits, shaped bits, into a pendant that you can wear, tumble stones. It's very, it's one of those crystals that gets carved and shaped a lot. And obviously you can have it in this raw form as well. Now, rose quartz on a scientific base of it is a silicon dioxide crystal. It is found near enough everywhere around the world. And it usually goes hand in hand with granite deposits as well. So that's where it's found in, and mined. So with that aside, what is rose quartz in terms of healing? So rose quartz is all for your heart chakra keeps it open keeps your heart chakra active it is the stone of unconditional love it brings self-love caringness kindness friendship romantic love and platonic love so it's all about that love vibe if we don't love ourselves how can we love anybody else so it helps us love us for who we are and allowing us then to love other people and share the love in between so it's really good at that it's also good at bringing trust and harmony into relationships it dispels negativity in relationships so sometimes we can all bicker a little bit or sometimes arguments happen within relationships it's natural but what rose quartz will do will help calm those situations down which can only be a good thing also with rose quartz it has also the power to increase fertility. So if you're looking to start yourself a family or you're having problems um, getting pregnant, then rose quartz will help with that as well. It's also very good, believe it or not, for um, helping soothe burns and reducing blisters. If you rub the rose quartz slightly with a polished stone, rub it over the area that's affected, and you can also add rose quartz to water to make an elixir. And then when you do that, the rose quartz will change the water molecules and the structure. So when you drink the water, it will help internal issues as well. And that's where it will help for like your fertility issues and anything like that. It's a very good stone to give to young babies and young children, obviously, as long as they can't swallow it or anything like that. Um, because again, it keeps their heart chakra open it allows them to accept love from be it parents or siblings and yeah rose quartz is definitely a crystal everybody should have in their collection you know we always say rose quartz clear quartz amethyst you know in my previous video top top crystals for beginners rose quartz is definitely one of them it's a must in my opinion um, a lot of healing and petitioners practitioners sorry will use it and have it on them ready to use and yeah i mean rose quartz what's not to like about it it's a lovely shade of pink it comes in different shades as well sometimes really dark pink sometimes it can be quite transparent um it is associated with zodiac signs or taurus and libra um and the element is earth and water and yeah it to me it's just an all-rounder um it can help so much it can either help with high blood pressure because it will regulate um, the way your heart is working and, and producing things like that. Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor. If you do have any heart conditions or anything like that, please seek out medical advice first. This is just an aid. This will just help. This isn't a cure, okay? Just want to make that absolutely fine out there so nobody goes along and thinks this is a cure or all because it's not. But it will definitely help. So Rose Quartz, definitely have it on you. Carry it with you, keep it close to you, keep it in the bedroom, and let it work its magic on you. Because like I said, you need to love yourself first before you can accept love for anybody else. Okay? And as the famous Beatles said, all you need is love. So on that note, I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. More videos are coming. Um, and I'm going to do a section on each and individual crystals and what they do and how we can work with them and we can go into more depth later on down the line. So again, thank you all for watching. 
I hope it was informative. Hope you took something from it. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.